so when I moved out of my flat, I went through all my clothes, I went through all my makeup, and I just had basically like a good old clear out. So I decluttered a lot of my makeup. So what I've done is I've gone through every drawer and got rid of a lot of makeup, which I filmed doing. So, but I didn't do the intros to it because I was didn't have much time, so I just filmed me kind of going through each bits of my makeup. So this one's going to be my eyeshadow and I hope you find it helpful and hope it inspires you a little bit to go through your makeup and get rid of the bits that you don't use anymore etc. This is my eyeshadow drawer so I'm just going to tip this out. Okay so this is so this is all of it tipped out and trying to get enough room to do this so obviously my naked palettes I'm going to keep I've got my the naked palette one and I've also got the naked palette two which actually I've never ever used so I don't actually need to keep this but I do really like it I really like the packaging and everything so I am going to be silly and keep it this is the Urban Decay oh I can't remember what palette this is called but it's just got four colours in it and a brush. I've used that occasionally. This was when I went through like my phase of collecting everything Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Midnight Emergency Palette. And you just unzip it. And you've got four colours in there. I think there was... I think... This lip gloss came in it. So I might just keep that in there and... There's a brush with it as well. I just love the packaging of this. It's just like, oh, it's just like a, it's just like a little clutch bag. I love the packaging of it. This is an e.l.f. case and in it is, I think these are all MAC eyeshadows. Sure they are. Yep, yeah, this one's Pink Freeze. This one is Atlantic Blue. This one is Plumage, and this one is ABC, oh sorry, no, Woodwinked, I'm reading the code for it. I do like them shades, I very rarely wear eyeshadow, and if I do, it's from the Naked palette, so, but I do like them. That's another thing, the MAC eyeshadows fit really nicely in these e.l.f. palettes, so, yeah, all my MAC shadows are in these, instead of actually buying the MAC palettes and this is another one of the e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes but this has actually got e.l.f. eyeshadow in so there's four colours I don't know if these have got names no they haven't got names so it's just four of them in there and e.l.f. don't sell over here anymore but obviously they used to sell the palettes and then you could buy obviously the four separate eyeshadows to go in it this is another e.l.f. palette and I think, oh, these two are e.l.f. ones and I think these are MAC. I'm sure that's a MAC one and I think this is a MAC one, but the names come off of it. So them two are MAC ones as well. This is the Body Shop and it opens up like that. This is one of the very first palettes I ever bought from them. I think this was from the Christmas range. I'm sure it was. And every now and then I'll bust this out, but not that often, to be honest. So I'm going to keep that. An eyeshadow. This is Rice Paper by MAC. Which looks like this. This is a very good, like, highlight, blending out colour. So I'll keep that. This one by MAC is Embark. This is really dark, and to be honest, I've very rarely used it. I think I've used it once to swatch, so that can go. This one is um, by Glam Couture Cosmetics. I got this when I brought two eyeshadows a, like years and years ago. And this came as a sample. And it's a loose powder. And it's like black and grey with like gold glitter in. And I've never actually ever used it. So that can go. Then, what are these? This is by Bare Minerals. This is by Bare Minerals. And it's Nude Beach. And it's a loose pigment and to be honest I never use it so that can go this is an Urban Decay single eyeshadow in um, Jones and looks like 
that. To be honest, I never really use it, so that can go. This is a Body Shop palette, and this was a Christmas one as well. Looks like that. And it's got a double-ended brush on it. I very rarely use that either, to be honest. And as you can see, I've hardly used it at all because the palette's all completely clean. So I think I could probably get rid of that one. This is the Urban Decay. It was a Build Yourself palette, and it came with one eyeshadow and a brush. As you can see, I've not filled up the rest, but I'm still going to keep the palette because I love it. Urban Decay and their packaging. This is from Urban Decay and this is the vegan palette and all of the packaging is made from like recycled stuff and things and it's just like that with the pen in, the eyeliner pen and I don't think I've ever actually used this apart from swatching the colours but I just love it so I'm going to keep it. This is also a single Urban Decay shadow, this is in ABC Gum and I've got one that's similar to that as like a blending colour so... I'm going to get rid of that from MAC. This one is Purple Haze by Urban Decay. And honestly, I do not know... Oh, I do not know what came over me when I bought this. I've never used it. I don't know what I would use it for. So, that one can go. This is the Shimmer Bricks by The Body Shop. This is in... Is There's four shades. There's Honeycomb, Dark Chocolate, Marshmallow and Chocolate Chip. And every now and then I'll bust them out and use them, so I'm going to keep them. This is the Romantic Eyes by Too Faced. And I do use this as well quite a bit, so I'm going to keep that. This is Wild About Beauty, and I got this in one of my beauty boxes. This is number three, and looks like that. Just a really, oh, just a really shimmery brown colour. I don't ever really wear that, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is another one as well by Wild About Beauty. This is Louis, the Louise Redknapp line. And, oh, the little protector bit has come off of it and gone somewhere. Oh, found it. This is in colour Eva. And I've never really used this either. So that can go. This is by NARS. And this is Galapagos. And it's just a shimmery brown and I never really use that so that can go this is by Revlon and I've used to use this palette all the time it's just got the it's just got the four I keep dropping everything the four eyeshadows in and I used to use it all the time I'm going to keep that this is by NARS and it is Deuce France I think this is the yeah it's the three of them all together. It just says Deuce France. I don't know if that's the name of it. Whether it's the three of them together, I'm going to keep that one. This is one of... Oh, these two are the single eyeshadows I bought that I got the um, glitter eyeshadow with. And one's a shimmery black. You can see it. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is... A shimmery pink. I'm not really sure what came over when I bought this, but these cost me so much money because they shipped over from America and it was an absolute fortune. But I just love them and I just feel like I can't part with them. This is a little palette from number seven that my friend got me one Christmas. Comes with a mini mascara, a mini highlighter, and a mini lip gloss, and then you've got three eyeshadows with that. I'm gonna keep that one. This is the Urban Decay. I think this is the 15 year palette. Looks like this. And when you take it off, it's got all them colours. I've got to keep that just because it's beautiful. The Urban Decay NYC palette, I'm going to keep that. The Urban Decay Volume 2 palette, I'm going to keep that. And the Urban Decay Butterfly palette, I'm going to keep all my Urban Decay palettes. MAC Naked, no, not Naked Shark Skin, don't want to talk about MAC Shark Skin, sh oh my gosh, can't speak, MAC Shark Skin Shade Stick, I have used this a couple of times, but there's loads left in it, but I never use it anymore, so that can go, I've got this by MAC, which is Naked Lunch, and I love this colour, so I'm going to keep that one, this is by the Body Shop as well, this palette, and comes with 
four colours, a eyeliner and a pencil. I've never really used this, so that one can go. This is a fern cotton palette that I got in the fern cotton um, set that I purchased in the sales. Never using colours, they're not really my sort of colours, so that can go. Probably sell that one because I've never used it. See that the blush is completely clean. This I got from Boots. It was a you had to order, say it was like three to three for two, and I didn't know what the other thing was that I wanted to order, so I just ended up getting this because I just thought the thing on top was pretty cool. But to be honest, I've never used it, so I might sell that. This was from Elf. This was Party Purple, and looks like that some kind of cool colours in there so I might keep that this is another one of the elf palettes and all of them are from MAC I won't tell you the shades because it's not really much point but I'll keep them ones just because they're expensive this one is from Esther Lauder and this is called Sugar Biscuit and looks like that and I like that so I'm going to keep it. Then the last three. This is another Estee Lauder one. And it's in colour um, sepia sand. And it's just like a nude. It's kind of brown colour. I'm going to keep that. This is from Sephora from when I went to New York. It's never actually been opened. So I might sell that one. It's kind of, You know when it's like you have something that's like sentimental. It's like I got this when I went to New York. But I might keep it actually. And then this is Satin Taupe from MAC. I used to love this shadow. Absolutely loved it. And I'm going to keep that really for old time's sake. So that's all my eyeshadows done. And I've got rid of all of these. These are the ones that I'm getting rid of. So that's cleared out some of them. So thank you for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.